and recall na pag sinabing group of electrons around the central atom, that could be a bonding group or a non-bonding group. Okay? So, yung best way to, uh, yung ginamit natin, di ba, na yung shiner ko na way para ma-predict yung molecular shape is bilangin nyo lang, bilangin nyo lang yung number of electrons that surround that particular central atom. Then, apply kung ilang group, uh, electron group, that surrounds that particular central atom, i-apply nyo lang ano yung posibleng molecular shape. Sa take note nyo lang, uh, it doesn't mean na basta the same yung electron group arrangement or the same yung number of electrons that surrounds that central atom in a molecule, parehas na sila ng shape. That may probably um, give rise to a different molecular shape kahit the same pa yung number of electron groups nila. Okay? Sige. So, last meeting, na-discuss natin yung two, ayan, two electron group arrangement. Okay, also the three electron group arrangement in yung mga possible shapes niya. Again, pag two electron groups surrounds a, a central atom, uh, that will um, give rise to a linear shape. Always yun na siya, basta dalawa lang yung electron group that surrounds a central atom. So, that, yan yung minimum number of uh, surrounding atom in a central atom. Dalawa, so linear yung shape. Uh, kapag three electron group naman, dalawa yung posibleng shape. Una, kapag lahat ng tatlong electron groups, puro bonding pair, that will give a trigonal planar shape. Kapag naman isa doon sa tatlo, lone pair, that will produce, ayan, a bent or V-shape. Okay? Uh, pasensya, sobrang hina ng internet. Okay? So, dito tayo nag-stop, di ba, sa mole molecular shape with four electron group arrangement. Ayan. Okay? So, pag-apat naman, um, yung posibleng shape tatlo. Okay? Pag-apat, yung electron groups that surrounds a particular central atom in a molecule. So, una, unang shape, pag yung apat na yan, lahat ng apat na electron group surrounding a central atom, puro bonding group, that will produce a, or give rise to a tetrahedral shape. Okay? And recall, uh, uh, in classifying a molecular shape, di ba, we designate a um, VSEPR class shape. Okay? So, pag tetrahedral shape, AX4, apat yung um, surrounding atom or bonding a uh, group of electrons surrounding that central um, atom. Okay? So, that's for tetrahedral. So, ito yung mga example for example ng molecule uh, with a tetrahedral shape. We have methane, silicon tetrachloride, yung sulfur. Nawala ko. Can you still hear me? Yes, ma'am. Hello? Nawala akong kuwan. Ayan, napadi ay. Okay, okay, padi ay. Sige. Nawala, nag, nag kuan siya. Notify nga, you lost your internet connection. Ah, sige, nawala lang siya kadyot. Sige, padayon ta. Okay. Still under the four electron group arrangement. Okay. Under pa rin ha, four electron group arrangement. Apat yung group of electrons that surrounds si central atom. Pero pag isa doon, isa doon, a uh, non-bonding group, meaning may presence na ng um, lone pair, okay? that will give rise to a trigonal pir pyramidal shape. So, ito yung um, shape ng isang trigonal pyramidal, di ba? Nung sa baba yung basement niya, uh, meron siyang uh, trigonal nga pyramidal, isang polyhedron nga, uh, trigonal pyramidal yung shape. Okay, then yung isa, isang lone pair. Okay, so example, very good example is yung ammonia, NH3. Diba? Tatlo, um, tatlo doon, 
Okay, tatlong unpaired electron ng nitrogen is being shared to um, hydrogens na hydrogens na electron. Okay, then yung uh, isang group group doon is a lone pair. Okay, so apat yan lahat, tatlo, bonding, isa, lone pair. So that gives a trigonal pyramidal shape. Another example is for the molecule phosphorus trifluoride and for chlorate ion. Okay. Try to observe their um, shape of their molecules. Diba? Um, each of their central atoms merong apat na electron group. Yun nga lang, yung isa is in a form of a non-bonding um, pair. Okay? Uh, paano naman pag meron ng dalawang lone pair? So, AX2, pero may presence of uh, two lone pairs. Okay? That will give rise again to a bent or a V-shape. Okay, a bent ulit or a V-shape. So, meron tayong dalawang electron group arrangement na pwedeng maka-give rise ng isang bent or V-shape. Diba? Doon sa three electron group arrangement. Sa three electron group arrangement, kapag isa doon, lone pair, bent yung shape. So, four electron group arrangement, okay, kapag dalawa doon, um, lone pair, or non-bonding group, that will again give a uh, bent or V-shape. Okay. So, example. Diba? Bent mana or V. Si water molecule. Okay. Diba? If you draw the Lewis structure of water molecule, uh, yung oxygen uh, forms a single bond to each um, hydrogen. So, meron siyang dalawang surrounding atom in a form of hydrogen. And, uh, dalawa sa electron group na yan is a lone pair. Okay? So, bent yan or V-shape. Yung 3D arrangement ng atoms of the molecule in water. Okay, another example is yung sa molecule ng uh, oxygen difluoride. Ayan. Diba? Dalawa, lone pair. Then, merong dalawang bond towards fluorine. Okay? Same with sulfur dichloride. So, bilang ka lang, bilang lang. Then, apply da yun sa yahang VSEPR shape class. Okay? So, ito yung sulfur dichloride. Ayan. Okay, next, uh, let's proceed to those uh, molecules naman with a 5 eh, or 6 na electron groups. Okay, so ito yung tandaan nyo kapag ang molecule has 5 or 6 electron groups. Uh, this time, yung mapapansin nyo sa central atom ng mga molecules na yun, with five or either six electron groups, ang mga central atom nila makikita sa period three ng periodic table. Okay, yan yung tandaan nyo. So, say for example, ang naamoy periodic table nila, check din nyo. Say for example, si phosphorus, okay, si sulfur. Basta nasa period three pa baba, um, kapag naging central atom yan sila, usually, uh, they will have five or either six electron groups. Okay, that surrounds uh, them as a central atom. Okay? Uh, bakit uh, yung mga nasa period 3 kasagara ang na I5 or 6 electron group arrangement? Diba? Um, recall nga ang naasa period 3, sila yung mga atoms with d orbitals. Okay, diba? Ang period, example, uh, this is a periodic table, hypothetical. Period 1, 2, 3. Diba? Yung 3 dyan, that will, um, um, that will serve as the uh, highest energy shell ng isang atom. 
Okay, B meaning um kaning mga kaning value di ba sa period kay mo na siyang n equivalent kaya po na sa n value. Di ba kung may sorry, n value. Di ba kung may tag n value sa quantum number that describes the highest energy level or the highest shell. Okay? Bali doon natin makikita yung valence electron for that particular atom. Okay? So for this um um, atoms nga located sa period 3 pababa period 3 pababa meron na yan silang presence ng d orbital okay bali na anay, sa ilang shell ba na anay orbital nga d di ba naman tayo upat kaklasing orbital spdf ah uh, saan niyo pagkabalo di ba sa of bow principle okay pattern ulit Diba pag abot sa 3p ay 3s then 3p. Diba pag abot sa third shell na anay d. Wala may d sa second. Okay, samot na sa first shell. So pag abot sa third shell, okay, pag abot sa third shell, ang mga atoms na yan, okay, nga na ay third shell, na na sila ay d orbital. Okay? Tanan. Okay, nga na a na ana sa third shell. Okay, so pwedeng empty, pwedeng meron. Okay, for example doon si phosphorus. Okay, si phosphorus, kung imong i-write ang iyahang um, electron distribution sa iyahang, or distribution sa ilang, sa ilang electrons in that atom of phosphorus, um, naa siya ay, ayan, naa siya ay d orbital nga empty. Okay, check na to, ha, para... Um, ma-imagine ninyo. Diba 15 yung electrons niya? So, fill up nato yung 15 electrons. Okay, so that's already 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, um, 15, sorry, P pa to, 3P, then, diba na na siya, ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so na na siya, until dyan lang yung electron uh, distribution ng electrons niya. Pero since niya, naa siya yung third shell, okay, mapapansin natin na empty ang iyahang 3D. Okay? Again ha, pag nanagali sa third shell, nanagid na siya yung automatic D ng orbital. So until dere raman ang itong pagka-distribute sa electrons ni phosphorus. So naa siya empty ba? Empty nga d orbital. So, if that is the case, any atoms na naanay d shell, empty, or naaba, capable sila mag expand sa ilahang valence shell. That is why, posible nga na sila 5 uh, electron group. Diba? Ang minimum ana kung 5 electron groups pila man na ka-electron. 10. I times 2 lang ni mo. Okay? Let's say, kanang electron group, uh, puro example, this is an atom. Na siya 5 electron group. Let's say purus na siya single bond. So meaning, ang minimum nga number of electrons in a 5 um, electron group is 10 electrons. So more than 8. Di ba ang octet kay 8 raman ang octet. So kumbaga, kaninga atom nag-expand yung valence shell niya. Okay? So capable siya mag-expand. Which is... Um, okay naman. Capable mangi siya. Nagit siya ability to expand. Kasi um, yung, uh, yung atom niya, aside sa it is large, meron, meron siyang empty na d orbital. Okay? So, yan yung tandaan nyo for molecules with 5 or 6 electron groups surrounding the central atom. Okay. So, uh, for 5 electron groups, Okay, let's say five electron groups attached to the central atom, yan, or attached to a central point, that will give rise to a trigonal uh, bipyramidal. Okay? Diba kung imun lang tawo ng taas, na kay trigonal. Okay? Dere po, trigonal. Sa ababa. Trigonal pyramid. Okay? Pero yung pyramid na nabuo, dalawa, that's why by pyramid. May pyramid sa taas, may pyramid din sa baba. That's why trigonal by pyramidal. Okay? Now, for this um, arrangement, 
sa five electron group arrangement, no? Um, we can see here na there are two different positions for uh, this uh, two electron groups. Kaninga electron groups. Different ilahang position sa tulo. Okay, kanang nasa taas and nasa baba. Okay, so we can observe here nga natay duha ka area if five electron groups ang gasaround sa central atom. Kung 3D ha, 3D nga arrangement, natay duha ka allocation nila. Uh, etong mga atom na to, kani, kani highlighted sa blue line. Lag kay siya. Ayan. Ayan, yung atom na yan na nasa gitna, ang tawag dito na mga electron groups, equatorial. Di ba kung uh, mag-study kag Earth, kaya naman ay equator. Ngamunang sa ito nga, equator. Then, kanang pa-vertical da yun, paana nga uh, line uh, across the Earth. Kanang gikan sa top to bottom, example, Earth ni siya. Di ba muna ang axis? Okay? So, meaning, uh, kanida yun, kanina part, uh, i-highlight na ito, o oh, red, ito. Itong part na to sa taas at baba, yan yung uh, axial group or axial electron group. So, natin duha ka location sa uh, group of electrons for a molecule na merong five um, surrounding um, electron groups. Okay? So, may equatorial, tatlo, tatlong group of electrons. Um, then, sa axial, uh, axial um, part, Merong dalawa, dalawang electron group. Sige. Uh, meron tong ideal na bond length ha. Any, di ba, any molecular shape na sila ideal. Bond length. Okay. So, sa equatorial, ayan, itong sa equatorial, uh, gano'n ba kalayo yung atoms na to? Ito, itong atoms na to, to this, gano'n siya kalayo? Okay. So, yung bond, eh, sorry, yung bond angle, ideal bond angle, sa equatorial is 120 degrees. Okay, 120 degrees. Yan yung ideal. Uh, yan sila kalayo. So, also here. Sa equatorial na siya ha, equatorial. Yung nasa gitna. Ito, naka 120. Ideal bond length. Uh, paano naman itong axial? Kanya siya. Ito, axial to, uh, syempre, Kung mag uh, bond length ta, syempre, diri ta axial to equatorial. Ito man yung magkatabi, di ba? Itong atom na to, tsaka ito. Or ito, then this one. This one. Or the other way around, yung sa baba, then ito. Okay? So, yung bond length dyan, di ba pag ah, na, right angle man na siya? Okay? Di ba? Right angle, so 90 degrees yung ideal bond length basta equal to equatorial group of electrons so 90 degrees uh, dito din uh, 90 degrees and ganun din yung sa baba basta kay equal to equatorial okay ragana ba mo ni equal ano mo ni ang equatorial then ito yung uh, axial group. So, obviously, 90 man na siya, 90 degrees. Okay? So, nani siya, bantog ako siyang gi-highlight kay na ay import, uh, na ay important thing that you have to consider, no? Kasi, uh, knowing nga yung nasa equatorial to equatorial nga um, group of electrons, kaniba? Kaning nasa tunga, kaning equatorial to equatorial, equatorial to equatorial. Diba mas malaki yung um, bond uh, angle nila kaysa sa 90 greater ang 120 kaysa 90 degrees. So, we can observe, we can realize here na kung greater ang bond angle, we would expect na weaker, weaker ang repulsion na nag, excuse me, repulsion na nangyayari between uh, this group of electrons sa equator. Okay, dako man kay ilahang lagyo sila ba? greater man ilahang bond angle, um, obviously, um, weaker ilang repulsion. 
gamay ra ang ilahang chance nga magripel ba kay naman sila asakto lang nga distance no greater kaysa sa 90 degrees uh, therefore since sa equatorial to equatorial nga rip equatorial okay nga repulsion is weaker no weaker ang equatorial to equatorial nga repulsion uh, pag merong presence ng lone pair dapat yung lone pair na yun must occupy the equatorial position okay Diba? Kaya posible man, nga 5 electron groups, then ang isa doon, or dalawa doon, tatlo doon, lone pair. So, saan natin ilalagay lo yung lone pair? Um, uh, please know nga doon siya ma-occupy sa equatorial position. Okay? Kasi nga, um, di ba pag lone pair, lone pair, ang isang lone pair, uh, iyahang character, it exerts a stronger repulsion. Okay? Ga-exert ga siya og stronger repulsion. So, um, it would be uh, better nga mag-occupy yun siya og space doon sa mas may malaking um, area. Okay? So, dito siya sa equatorial position mag-occupy ang isang lone pair. Okay, kasi nga, ang lone pair ha, greater yahang gina-exert nga repulsion. Okay, so dun siya sa equatorial um, position mag-occupy. So with this, um, sa, sa molecular shape with five electron groups, na atay uh, apat na posibleng shape with this arrangement. So una, kapag lahat, bonding or lahat um uh, kumbaga ang central atom meron siyang limang surrounding atom that will uh, produce the uh, main shape which is trigonal by pyramidal okay so pag lahat pag lahat ng 5 na yon puro bonding group trigonal pyramidal Okay, so wala kang makikita ng ano ba, lone pair sa iyahang central atom. Lahat ng yan, bonding, trigonal, bipyramidal. Okay, paano pag uh, meron ng presence ng lone pair? Okay, may presence na ng isang lone pair. Sa lima, okay, meron ng presence ng lone pair, isang lone pair. So that will, again, that will give rise to a siso shape. Okay, so yan yung siso. Uh, so kung inyo hang ma-observe, di ba, ang lone pair nag-occupy siya doon sa equatorial position. Okay, so apat na bonding group or apat na surrounding atom, then isa is a lone pair siso yung shape. So example, sulfur tetra fluoride, um xenon dioxy difluoride. Okay. So, ayan. Yan yung example ng molecules with a CISO shape. Um, okay. Um, pag dalawa na yung lone pair, okay, you have a two lone pair occupying the equatorial position again that will give rise to a T-shape. Diba? Letter T. Okay. So, um... Kanil, um, imagine man sige din ninyo, di ba? Letter T man na siya. At tanawa lang ninyo siya patakilid. Okay? So, yan yung T-shape. Um, so, example, specific example ng molecule that will give rise to a T-shape is yung chlorine trifluoride. Ayan. Di ba? You have a central atom, three uh, surrounding fluorine, Dalawa, uh, lone pair. Okay? So, T-shape. Another example is bromine trifluoride. Ayan. Okay? Then, if lahat, uh, lahat ng um, equatorial position di occupy ng lone pair. So, you have three na. Three lone pairs that occupies the whole equatorial position, that will give rise to a linear shape ulit. Okay? 
So, posible din yung linear shape sa isang five electron group arrangement. Alright? So, example, xenon difluoride, triiodide. Okay? So, um, ito yung mga few example for a linear shape molecule na merong five electron groups surrounding the central atom. Okay? We have three um, lone pairs that occupies the whole equatorial position. Okay, so that's for the uh, molecular shape with five electron group arrangement. Again, ha, possible apat na shape kapag five electron group arrangement. Okay, we have trigonal, bipyramidal, yung seesaw, the T-shape, and linear. Okay, then last, uh, let's proceed to molecular shape with uh, six electron groups. So again, yung central atom dito nag capable nag-expand ng valence shell. Okay? That's why capable siya mag-hold ng uh, more than 8 electrons. Okay? So, in here, sa 6 electron group arrangement, yung 6 electron groups, yung 6 na electron groups na to, it lies at the corner of an octahedron. Okay? Ayan, di ba? 6. Okay? So, when you say octahedron, di ba? Oct so, isa siyang polyhedron with 8 nga faces, 8 faces, 8 equilateral triangles for um, faces, okay? Pero meron siyang 6 nga identical vertices, ba ito? 6, uh, ibang kulay na lang. Ayan, 6 na vertical, mm, um, not vertical, 6 uh, na vertices, Okay, mga point ba? Point para mabuo yung walong um, faces. Okay. So, for this um, electron group arrangement, um, it could give rise to three possible um, shapes. So, una, kapag lahat ng anim na yan, anim na electron group surrounding a central atom, puro um, bonding group. Okay, or or yung central atom merong 8 na surrounding atom that will give rise to octahedral shapes. So example, sulfur hexafluoride. Another example is um, iodine oxypentafluoride. Okay, so these are a few examples for a molecule with, a, with an octahedral shape. Okay, yung, sir, uh, yung central atom nila merong anim na surrounding atom. So, AX6. Alright? Another shape uh, that could, uh, that may rise, that may arise if anim yung electron group is square pyramidal. If um, sa anim na electron groups na yun, merong isa na lone pair. Okay? So, for this um, um, a particular shape, no, pag ang molecule capable siya mag-form of square pyramidal, yung um, lone, nag-iisang lone pair, okay, presence of that lone pair, pwede siya biskan asa mag-reside. Okay? Kaya kung itong balik ko ng octahedral, kung mo i-analyze iya ang ideal bond lengths, that is all 90 degrees. Diba? 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Ayan. 90 degrees na siya. Puro 90 degrees. So, equal lang. Okay. So, anywhere, uh, it makes no difference, no? Uh, wherever that one lone pair resides. Okay? Kasi, kasi nga, all of the bond angles are equal on uh, puro 90 degrees. Okay? But you have to take note that pag may presence na gani ng lone pair, it will decrease the, it will reduce the ideal bond length. So from 90, most probably, pag may presence na ng lone pair, maiswag siya gamay, diligid grabe. So naligamay nga reduction no, sa 90 degrees. Example na 85, 81, 
degrees na lang. So, hindi na siya katong ideal good. Kaya ang ideal good, ma-observe na to kung ang gas around sa central atom puro bonds. Okay? So, that's for square pyramidal example. Bromine pentafluoride. Diba? Yung bromine as the central atom, meron siyang limang surrounding fluorine, then presence of one lone pair. Another example is xenon oxy um, tetra fluoride. Okay? So, ayan. And lastly, pag may presence na of two lone pairs, two lone pairs, ayan. Two non-bonding pairs, apat ang uh, bonding, uh, that will give rise to a square planar. Now, um, kapag um, ang, ang molecule na yan merong six electron group arrangement tapos may presence, yung sa six, sa, sa anim, dalawa doon, lone pair, ang best nga um, location of the lone pair, it has to be uh, opposite sa each other. Okay, di ba? Naalala, same lang ang ilahang. Katong sa octahedral, ideal bond length, 90. Puro 90. So, para ma-avoid natin yung stronger nga uh, 90 degrees lone pair to lone pair repulsion, dapat yung dollar na to, it must lie opposite sa each other. Okay? Para ma-minimize lang yun ang repulsion. Hindi na ito sila iabay. Okay? So, opposite, perpendicular to each other, kumbaga yung position ng lang dalawang lone pairs. So, square, excuse me, square, planar yung shape. Example, senun tetride. Um, uh, another example is the ion of iodine tetrachloride. Ayan. Alright. So that ends our discussion for uh, molecular geometry. Okay. So recall na to. Again, we have five, no, five uh, major nga, uh, geometric orientation. So meron tayong a uh, linear arrangement uh, meron din tayong trigonal a uh, planar nga arrangement we also have tetrahedral the trigonal bipyramidal and lastly is octahedral arrangement yan yung main nga geometric orientation okay so do you have any question for uh, this topic before ta mag proceed So far, po. Okay. So, sige, let's continue our um, discussion. Naaga pa siya relationship no sa molecular shape. Okay. Uh, so we will learn here the a uh, concept on hybridization. Uh, so continuation so geometry ng molecule. Uh, we will learn uh, here. Uh, deeply what is really a covalent bond. Okay? So, mabalik ta sa uh, topic on covalent bond, but this time, molecular level. Okay? Molecular level ang atong pagka-discuss about um, covalent bond, the characteristic that gives a covalent bond its strength or um, ato pang studyhan how can uh, we explain a molecular shape based lang sa interactions of atomic orbitals. Okay? Ang pinaka-useful nga approach for answering um, uh, those nga questions I have um, stated is this theory, the valence bond theory. Okay? Uh, so, by definition, ang valence bond theory, sabi dito, ang isang covalent bond daw, it will form when orbitals of two atoms overlap. Okay? So, nakay, uh, sorry. Two orbitals, uh, when orbitals of two atoms overlap, 
And in that overlapping region, uh, a pair of electrons will occupy. Okay, so yan yung uh, valence band theory. Okay, but uh, since the uh, statement ng theory na ay na-mention nga orbitals, it would be uh, uh, good to recall, to reinfer reinforce first uh, some of the ideas on atomic orbital, spe especially yung shapes no, ng atomic orbital. Kasi later on, uh, later sa mga uh, i-present nga slides na ay mga shape of atomic orbital nga ma ang uh, ma present on screen so para lang ma-reinforce nato. Okay, so recall natin kadyot lang ang um, atomic orbital. So by the ayan. Oh, wait sa ha. Uh, by definition, uh, when we say um, atomic orbital, diba, that is a region in space ng isang atom na nai highest probability nga dito gid nato makita ang um, electron so that is an atomic orbital by definition and we uh, we have this uh, quantum numbers that uh, describe an atomic orbital particularly there are three quantum numbers sa apat na quantum number tatlo doon ga describe sa atomic orbital which indicates the size of the orb, uh, the size of the atom, the shape of that orbital, the orientation, okay, of the orbitals. Okay, so we have the principal, yun yung principal, azimuthal, and magnetic quantum number. For principal, ito yung uh, nagdidikta ng uh, highest energy level ng atom, or the size of the Atom. Yung azimuthal, uh, yan naman yung uh, nag-indicate ng shape. Okay, it describes the shape of the orbital. Magnetic, yun yung orientation. Uh, but for this topic, we will give um, focus on the second quantum number. Yung azimuthal, yan, quantum number. Okay? Recall nga yung azimuthal quantum number, di ba, yung values nga... Um, yung values or yung number for uh, this a uh, quantum number this could uh, this could be zero any number as long as within siya sa range na zero to n minus one and kung ano yung makuha mong number for azimuth or l value um, kung ano yung makuha mong l value that uh, that is designated by a letter yung S, P, D, and F. Yung S, P, D, F, uh, S, P, D, F, oo, um, they describe a particular shape of the orbital. So, recall na ito, nga pag um, L is 0, di ba? That is S sub-level. And kapag S, orbital, spherical yung shape. So, yan yung shape niya. Okay? Again, pag S, Gani, S orbital, spherical. Okay, circle. Adili man, circle. Um, perfect yung pagka, uh, perfect sphere yung um, shape niya. Okay? So, yan yung S. So, tandaan nyo ha, kahit yung uh, S lang tsaka P. Tandaan nyo yung, ano niya, shape. Okay? So, S, S orbital, spherical. Okay, kapag P, uh, P orbital, ito man nga shape. Diba? Mura siyag um, um, iyahang shape kaya mura dumbbell. Diba? Mura siyag ana. Ay, sorry. Dilay nga na siya. Um, kung imo siyang i-represent, kung ikaw mag-draw, uh, it looks like this. So, yung ana. Okay? So, mura siyag pair of lobes. Diba? Pair of lobes. Uh, extending on its axis. Okay? Example, ito yung axis. Ayan. So, nakay pair of lobes that extend on its axis. Dumbbell. So, mara siyag dumbbell uh, shape. And take note, natay tulo. Diba? Pag may natag P sub-level, tulo ang orbitals, Ana. And per orbital, Ana, pila ang ga-occupy, nga electrons, duha. Alright? 
So, muna example. So, na kay isa, ka P orbital ga extend sa X axis, na apod kay um, isa ka orbital under uh, P sub level, nag extend sa Z axis, and the third one, nag extend siya sa a Y axis. Okay? So, yan yung a shape for P orbital. Okay? Then, for ayan, complicated naman kayo ni ilahang shape. Okay? At least you know this for um, for D. Hello. Ayan. Okay, nawala ko. Nawala ko kalit. Nawala ba? Hello. Ayan. Okay, nawala ko. Nawala ko kalit. Nawala ba? Yes, ma'am. Nawala, ma'am. Sige. Hinay ka yung internet. Sa inyo, ha? Okay rin yung internet. PLDT. Hinay sa ma'am. Ah. Hinayod, ma'am. Oh, um, first, first time ko karun sa PLDT, no? Hinayod siya. Hinayod siya, Giyod. Dali lang. Pati Globe.